taking personal leave for the next month as he prepares to fight the court case against him. He's set to return to court on trial, facing charges of theft and dishonestly dealing with documents. It's after he failed to have the charges permanently stayed in December, Mr Bell is accused of siphoning over 750 grand from an education fund in the southeast back before he ran for political office. He's pleading not guilty and says he's always maintained his innocence in the matter and looking forward to finally having the opportunity to clear his name. A Queensland woman has been charged over a crash at Avenue Range near Lucendale that injured not only her but three others, including two children. The incident took place on Friday last week with the two vehicles coming together at an intersection. Following investigations, the 70-year-old was arrested and charged with aggravated driving without due care causing harm and failing to give way. She was bailed to appear in the Narracourt Magistrates Court on May 17. Multiple search efforts have been held to find missing Mount Gambia man Ryan Anthony Chambers in India, but nearly 20 years after his disappearance, he's finally been declared dead by the Supreme Court. He went missing on a trip with a friend in 2005, with his family needing to go to the Supreme Court for the declaration, as India could not issue a death certificate. And over the border, there's concerns Victoria might not have enough willing tradies to help the state pull its weight and support the new AUKUS deal. Experts say Australia will need to fill around 20,000 engineering and trades jobs over the next three decades to work on the subs in Adelaide. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. To sport now, and it was a close one in the weekend's Barber Shield final. East Gambia coming out on top, keeping West to 97 after scoring just 113 themselves. Captain Alex Henschke says the teams got together to celebrate over lunch. Very low key, just a couple of drinks at the, the club and, and stuff together as a group. Gambia Centrals have meantime claimed the Crouch Shield and Kalangadu taking out the Cox Brothers Shield. Join the community that helps make wishes come true. Visit makeawish.org.au to make your donation today. That's makeawish.org.au. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Mostly sunny for the Limestone Coast today with light winds and a top of 25 degrees. Wednesday, partly cloudy and 25. And want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for the Limestone Coast and add to your favourites now.